All right, in this video, what we're gonna look at is how to, as the sound engineer, how to connect our tablets to the console. So there's a process you have to go through. You have to authorize every one of the tablets and give them specific uh, controls over whichever aux they are supposed to be controlling. So we're gonna look at how to do that. This is not how to use the uh, SSL Live Taco app. We're gonna do a different video on that. This is just strictly for the sound engineer to be able to authorize the tablets that the musicians on the stage are using. So as an example, I've got two tablets sitting here. These two tablets happen to be for the electric guitar player and the vocals. So we do have two different types of authorizations we're doing for these two tablets. So we'll take a look at that and what the differences are. First thing you do is as the engineer for that, mo that morning, you're gonna come in and open up all of these different tablets. We've got, I think, eight of them around the stage. Uh, we wanna go around, fire them all up, hit the SSL Live Taco app. Should be the only thing on the home screen. You'll see it come up. Uh, you should see the name of our console. It says that it's discovered and then it's waiting for a password, okay? So we're gonna type in the password for each of the tablets. So don't pay attention to this. So once we get the password typed in, we hit connect and the status should change to awaiting authorization. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this one. And connect, awaiting authorization. So. At this point, you've done everything you can do on the tablets. Now you have to go from the stage back to the console to authorize these. So I'm gonna move them out of the way. Actually, I'm gonna move one of them out of the way so you can still see the other one here. So we can see what's going on with that. So there is a shortcut that I've created up here on our 10 user keys. Uh, button number three is called remote. So if I click button three, it takes me to this page. This page is showing that I have two devices trying to connect, tablet controllers, trying to connect to this console. Now, because the name of the device does not show up on the console, it just says localhost, it does give an IP address though. These tablets are all set with static IPs. So I have a chart here that says this IP address gets this author authorization. So in this example, um, I see IP address 192.168.1.22 is awaiting authorization. So I come over here, find that IP address. That is supposed to get engineer authorization. So what we do now is on that one, I tap here, accept as engineer. Now, if you were to see that on the tablet, uh, here's what that looks like. So it goes from awaiting authorization to connected. Now I can go to menu, faders, menu controls, menu query, whatever I wanna do on, on here. Now, again, we're gonna do specific uh, tablet training, so I'm not gonna go through all of this. Just know that we now have connected the vocals tablet. We can see that it's connected with engineer um, authorization privileges. So we're gonna do the second tablet here. So this tablet, the second tablet is showing up at, <clears throat> as IP 1.28. So I come over to my chart. Dot 28 is electric guitar. Now this one's different. So awaiting authorization, I tap on that. I wanna accept with an aux and I don't know which one it is yet. So I may have to just kind of scroll through these. So aux one through 12. I'm told by my little chart here that I'm supposed to authorize 1.28 with electric guitar. So all my auxes are named, so I'm looking for guitar here. And I don't see guitar in this list, so I go down to 13 through 24. So right there I see guitar ears. So when I tap that, it authorizes this tablet. It's now connected. Um, if I hit menu, you can see that I don't get screen query, I don't get controls, all I get is setup and faders. So now when I tap faders, all this tablet sees are just the aux sends for his own aux. Okay, so again, we'll go over the tablet training later in a subsequent video, but I've now authorized both of these. 
and it's using this chart here. So when an IP address pops up here, look over on the chart and that will tell you what to authorize that IP tablet with. Okay, so once we do that, we'll take all the tablets, return them up to the stage, get them snapped into their places and stuff. If they have power for them, go ahead and plug power in. But from this point, we should be good to go.